You keeping an eye on the watch, Private? 300 seconds, and not a second to spare. And don't forget, never look directly into the sun. seconds left. Damn it. Looks like my measuring equipment is broken. No, I'm afraid... I'm afraid it's working perfectly fine. 240 seconds left. We just received news from Antarctica, Machu Picchu, and Eastern Oceania. Their measurements match ours. We're expecting a solar flare similar to the Oswald flare from 2113 within the next two weeks. We all know that the terrestrial magnetic field can't protect us from a flare of the scale anymore. Our time is up. It's not too late yet, Quadi. We still have a chance. Well, yeah, what about the Phoenix plan? We could escape. The Phoenix plan is not an evacuation plan, Hardy. Quite the opposite. No. Salvador is right. A manipulation is our last chance. What are they talking about? Is the security of our pilots provided for by now? Nigel, we are looking at certain death for every living thing in two weeks. We don't have a choice, I'm afraid. It's time we dare to take the final step. Step back to the past. spare parts <sighs> it never ends does it okay then let's see what's wrong with this thing So that's the problem, the belt tour. But where can I get a new one? Maybe it can still be fixed. Oh well, it's worth a try. Not sure that will hold. That's it. The belt tore again. There's no help for it. I need to replace it. He feeds on the parasites in the wood, just not quickly enough. 
My back refuses to cooperate, and so do I. in the streets of Oslo. At 11 o'clock this morning, violent protesters stormed the European headquarters of the International Energy Inspection Agency. They protested the planned renewal of licenses for a total of seven power plants operated by the controversial energy corporation Indes Industries. The world keeps turning without me. Our summer vacation to Italy. Meta beamed, like always. And all I had on my mind was probably how to save the world. I wonder if we could have been happy if I had focused on our relationship instead of on our planet's future. <sighs> my team on the Atlas 11. <laughs> we really thought the future of the world was resting on our shoulders. Hmm, what's this? Something got stuck behind the picture. That looks suspiciously like... Well, well, look what I've found. I don't even remember hiding it here. Was I really that drunk? rapeseed oil. Until some years ago, it was only good for lamp oil. Today we use it as salad dressing and to prove the bad energy balance of biofuels. A sad sight. Well, it's locked. The plan was to leave everything behind. How long haven't I been down here? This is where my old life is buried. Okay, let's take a look. Hey, there was a screwdriver in there. I better take it. There was even more lab equipment in here once. Barney took most of it back to the station so I wouldn't get any ideas and start working again. We made a tour down the fjord, along the coast, and down to the sea. At that time, the Atlas was being renovated, and while I was waiting for new assignments, I had all the time in the world to be a good dad. It's strange how things change. Not without proper tools. Let's see. Benson? Yes, that would be me. Wait, I'm coming. Maybe you could tell me what you were doing sneaking around this place. You gave me quite a fright. I didn't intend to. Are you Ben Svensson? Yes, I am, but... 
What do you need? I need your help. You've come to the wrong place then. I am retired. But it's very, very important. Much is on the line. Well, all right, but let me finish my work first. I hate to leave a job undone. Please, wait a second. I am busy right now. But... The sooner you let me finish my work, the sooner I will have time for you. Good riddance. Cripes, too long. Hmm, maybe it would work if I could attach the screwdriver to something. It's useless. Away with it. That's where the screw was. It fits. What now? Looks like one of the discs is blocked. That would explain why the belt tore. It's completely rusted. Okay, that should work. Right. That should do the trick. Ah, damn it. Someone has to hold the shutter to keep the stupid screwdriver from popping out again. I could use your help. Is that really important? I don't have much time. If you really want my help... Okay, okay, fine. What do you want me to do? Just come up here. There we are. What's this machine for? The fogger keeps the wood fresh until winter. I need you over here. You must push down this shutter while I operate the switch over there. Do you think you can do that? Of course. I'm ready. Well then. These things happen. But there's no alternative if you want to get rid of the vermin. And I need the wood for heating. You are so stupid. Oh, great. I've got a visit from Miss Hypersensitivity. Wait. Wait. Is that your generic answer to every problem? Huh?
Oh, come on. What's with all this fuss? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe you can't help me after all. Help? Help with what, for Christ's sake? I am retired. I don't help anyone anymore. Oh, please. Don't look so sad. Maybe it would be best... <coughs> what? <coughs> What's wrong with you? Water. I need... water. What now? Svensson? Hello, Bent. This is Dr. Angus speaking. You sound a bit stressed out. It's a bad time. I have a visitor. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. What did I tell you about stress? Please, Doc. The woman doesn't feel well. She has a seizure or... We've talked about this a thousand times, Bent. Your do-gooder complex even earned you a stay in the hospital. You are not responsible for the whole world. What? But... Please repeat. I am not responsible for the whole world. I am not responsible for the whole world. That's it. Now, get some rest. Why don't you go fishing? Because I don't want to be part of the overfishing of the seas? Uh, uh, uh. What did I tell you? I am not responsible for the whole world. Just remember that. I'll call you tomorrow. So long. Yes, so long. Okay, now, about you. Why don't you tell me what brings you here? What brings me here? Okay. Mutual trust. My name is Faye. I am a time travel pilot. Confrontation. I come from the future. Mankind is facing extinction. What's that? What are you talking about? And what is that note for? Guidelines for transtemporal contacting. I told them I couldn't do this. <laughs> no. Are you serious? Salvador was right. Talk is useless. Oh, please. Give me a break. Fine. You are from the future. Or from the Muppet Show. But what's that got to do with me? What do you want from me? Your research. Nonsense. In my time, mankind is dying. Animals are dying. Trees. The whole world is dying. Your research could prevent that. I'm not responsible for the whole world. Oh, but you are, Bent. Actually, you are the only one who can help me. The only one who can stop the worst from happening. You, Bent. And you alone are responsible for the whole world. You can't know that, but in 500 years from today, the world is a wasteland. Everything is destroyed. The surface uninhabitable. The last survivors live in bunkers below ground and mankind teeters on the brink of extinction. Well, that's... fascinating. Do you believe me? Yes. Yes, of course. That's the team. See? You don't look very happy. I'm nervous. After all, I'm supposed to save the world. Hmm. I guess everyone believes that at some point. Oh, that is Delvin. He is something like a prodigy. He fixed the new mater on his own, before anyone even knew that the thing was broken. Delvin gets along with everybody. He looks scared. We all were, each in our own way. We were sent to the year 2050 to stop the climate change. Excuse me? We wanted to redress the mistakes of mankind, but we miscalculated. Faye, are you still alive? Uh, I'm not sure. Doesn't feel like it. Stop joking. We are here. How do you know without... Ugh. Take me to your leader. Ouch! Damn it. You okay? Don't touch the shell. Yeah. Thanks. I know that now. Say hello to the year 2050. <laughs> <laughs>